I am working on a rather longer video about sort of um, forgotten fascist figures in early British fascism, which has required me to do quite a bit of research. Uh, I'll be trying to premiere that later today. However, while doing it, uh, uh, words fail me. This is Justin Barrett, who is reasonably well known in Ireland for leading a minor political party, the National Party. He has in the past sort of um, flirted with um, anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial and quoted Mein Kampf, but he seems to be ready to go full uh, a full fascist leader here with this idiotic regalia. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, before I go on, Justin Barrett has a singularly fucking great voice, you'll find, unfortunately. What does this Pratt think he is? The blue shirts reinvent? Reborn, I mean, Owen Duffy was bad enough, but at least he could claim to have had military experience fighting in the War of Independence and putting on a uniform was vaguely believable with him. This this guy looks like a, a dwarf in an SS cosplay moment. No, 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 we never thought that with... Blokes in, you know, big um, face masks up there, bonzers behind you, uh, and a flag that's plainly inspired by, an, uh, you know, fascist imagery. We would never have thought that. Like, I normally stroll down to Tesco's in my SS uh, uh, uniform. Give it a rest, Justin. And uh, yeah, we they just use Justin's voice as, a, as an attack device, requiring everyone in about a 500 yard range to purchase customized ear plugs to keep it out, and that's becoming disorientated because they can't hear sound and stumbling about. The red bobs, Jesus, they're, they're, they're flying around through every, every Irish town and village the communists robs. So you think the Red Army is, is wandering around the, the leafy lanes of small Irish villages? Goodness sake, man. Whereas here we have Justin talking about legal rights dressed up in paramilitary gear and basically giving you an implied threat of beating the crap out of migrants and anyone who disagrees with him. The right to protest does not involve the right to assault people. Can someone buy Justin some fucking lockets or a pack of cough sweets or something? That voice sounds like it's going to crack and explode at any moment. Well, it's been heard by, or a section of Ireland's voice has been heard via Justin here. A section with a very sore throat who shouts a lot and seems to engage with his own egotistical vision of himself quite a lot. No matter who tries to silence us, we will act with independence and I think you'll probably silence yourself, Justin, screaming like that. It's not a good idea if you do public speaking. There are actually tricks to how you speak publicly and how you're supposed to modulate your voice to project it, not just scream. As peaceful as we can. Weasel words language. There's there's the real the real sort of underlying message coming out. But we will also be ready to protect ourselves and defend ourselves. 
there, there you go. There's the, the recourse to violence and threat coming out. Uh, this man is something of a clown in the way in, in, in Irish politics. He has a small, rather fanatical following. Are there real questions about migrants in Ireland and is it sustainable? Yes, of course there are. The number of migrants in Ireland has got a rather out of control, I'd say, and there are culture clamp clashes all the time between locals and perceived differences in culture. Do we need a twat like Justin Barrett playing at cosplay nasty stuff? No. He's an idiot who likes to think he's the Fiora for Ireland. No, he's not. No. Having shared that with you, that wonderful idiot, I'll now go on with the rest of my day and research the other video I was doing, which has required me to look up a lot of links. Uh, 